Okay, so I'm making a new Krieg video because my old one got 30-something K views, and it was a poor build, and I wasn't OP-10 at the time. Now I am. Uh, I have a bunch of changes to my build. Currently, I'm running these four weapons, but I could probably find better ones if I had the time or wanted to. Uh, main thing, I'm using the Unkempt Herald, but everybody knows about that gun. Like, there's nothing I need to say about that. Anyway, the main thing I want to show off is my mod, which is like a legendary Psycho class mod. This gives me five blood filled guns, five blood twitch, five empty the rage, five feed to me, five burn baby burn, and five fuel the fire skill. And the reason I'm running this over all of the other ones I have is because uh, I like what it's giving me as lows. far as uh, melee damage and fire tree stuff. Uh, I could honestly run these other two mods if I really wanted to, but I get the most of what my build does with this because it has plus fives for a lot of skills, and it's just overall a good mod, even though it's level 58. So if I find a OP-10 version of this with that many fives, I'll switch to using that if it covers the skills that I want it to cover. Right now, I'm only worried about very certain skills that this one's covering, but I will go into my exact skill tree. A lot of you were right in saying that that build wasn't the best. Um, I had a lot of issues with that build um, right after I filmed that video, actually. So, uh, I've been playing this game for a long time. And this build that I'm running currently, I was able to solo Terramorphous on OP6. I'm not able to do it on OP10. Um, I'm not able to solo any bosses on o OP10. Um, I don't think it's even really that easy to do, even with Psycho. This game's meant to be played with other people, so, I mean, I might be stupid in saying this, but I don't think anyone's gonna have a good time trying to solo uh, Terramorphous on OP-10. It's just not very fun. Uh, and if you can do it, good for you, but it's not that great. Anyway, here's my new tree uh, with all of the slots put in the proper place. Um, the main meat and bones is this is a melee psycho build. So if you're not planning on running a melee psycho build and you want to do your own thing, fine. But I believe this to be the best for overall DPS. And the reason I say this is because, well, everyone knows how psycho works, so I'll run down each skill and why I have them. I have the melee damage here, which gives me plus 40% and plus shield mag bonus, but I don't care about that. Um, but I do care about melee damage the most on this build, so anything that gives it to me, I usually tend to buy. Now, y y you can say this build isn't perfect, but it's far superior than the one I uploaded, and I wanted to update where I was able to come with that build, and also, that build was a work in progress, so I don't even know why I uploaded it, but this is my end game OP-10 build, I've gotten very far with it, if somebody has a better one, they can feel free to upload it themselves, but this is what works for me and fits my playstyle, so, this one has 40% melee damage, this one has max health of 100%, and it Affects my shield a little bit, but it doesn't really matter. That's not a big deal for me because my shield goes down all the time, and that's kind of necessary for you to play Psycho in the first place. Uh, I have the points in this and this because um, if I happen to overkill somebody, I'll get health, and that's helpful. And proccing explosions really isn't a big deal, so having it in this at all is kind of a waste of a slot. Uh, so, but... I still have it anyway, just because I feel like I needed to spend points to get to where I needed to be on this tree for these three skills. So, I mean, you could put all five points in Thrill of the Kill and forget this. I might change it back myself and just put all five into the Thrill of the Kill. But there, it's either this one or this one, because you can't get further down the tree without putting five points here. So, that's kind of your only option. You can put five on the left, five on the right, split them evenly. It doesn't matter. You just need five points there so you can get the rest of blue uh, to run the melee build. You do need Salt the Wound. I was wrong about that before. And the reason why I was wrong about that is because Salt the Wound stacks. And it goes to 20. 
and it gives me 7.5% per each stack. I found um, some mods that actually uh, have Salt the Wound going to like 20% per, percent per stack. So being able to get um, that much is a really good build. But I don't have any class mod that gives me Salt of the Wound and also gets me um, a lot of the other stuff that I'm running. So until I find something that's actually a good class mod that gives me points in Salt of the Wound, I'm not going to bother. But you do need it. Uh, I was wrong about not needing it before. It does very much help your melee damage, and since I'm running a melee build anyway, um, it helps. Uh, you need Silence the Voices. It gives you an extra 250%. You can also possibly find a class mod that boosts both uh, Salt the Wound and Silence the Voices because if you've got that running, then you're getting a lot more melee than you would normally. I know that the bonus already adds 500% by default melee damage but the the more the better because the faster you can kill people with that buzz axe um the more health you're getting back and the more resing you're doing so you don't go down ever and that's the object is to never go down so if you can't slice through them or if you can't dps using your buzz axe rampage at all then you're not going to get any of the bonuses that this build tries to accommodate for and you're going to be completely useless I mean, you could run another build, but you need the you need Buzzax Rampage to be doing the best it can be doing, and the way to do that is running melee uh, melee build. So <clears throat> then you have the ult at the bottom, so that doesn't really need any explanation. But it gives me another hundred percent melee. Then in the fire tree, I have all of this, which gives me seventy percent burn damage. Uh, additional on fire bonus if I'm on fire I get even more damage bonus and it gives me 70% to self ignite this also gives me 400% elemental uh, effect chance so I'm gonna be dealing elementals a lot and I have another 70% self ignite uh, I originally skipped pain as power but I think it actually does help because it gets rid of your crit which I don't need I don't see myself hitting crits often and negative 25% doesn't matter uh, even without badass stats, which um, mine are glitched, and I know a lot of people had problems with that, but I don't care. A lot of people do that, so get over it. Uh, anyway, I stopped at a, a level that I felt was a reasonable level to stop at, so I don't... Uh, some people who go out and do the badass glitch and put themselves in the thousands um, pretty much aren't interested in playing the game how it's supposed to be played anyway. I don't have it nearly that high, so if you're going to complain about the badass stats, I don't give a care. Uh, but <clears throat> anyway, Pain is Power gives me melee damage at 25%, so I took it. Um, Fire Fiend gives me melee ignite chance, so I have another 50% to ignite you and myself. If you get ignited, I get ignited, and when I'm on fire, I'm tanking. Um, this one is all elemental status effects have a chance to light myself on fire. So if I deal any element at all, I might be on fire and then I'll be more powerful. Um, this increases the duration of burn effects. Each time you apply a burn effect, you know the deal. Uh, the burn duration is 100% and the reignite chance is again 75%, which helps me again because I'm wanting to be on fire all the time in all of combat. You honestly probably don't need this point here because it's kind of annoying having to wait for the fire animation to stop before you can do a regular melee, which some quests uh, abnormally need you to do because apparently it doesn't count as a true melee. So when it says, oh, melee this, you'll just blow fire on it and nothing will happen and you have to wait until the animation finishes. So you don't need this here, but on the plus side, it helps me ignite people faster and the way I combo it with how I play works well enough that I'm just on fire all the time. So, I mean, you can take it or leave it. You don't need it, but you can put it there if you want. Or you can use the point somewhere else in the tree if you want. The next uh, two are just these. And um, I get healing off of elemental that I deal. So it helps having this perk because when I'm dealing elementals, I actually heal really fast for some reason when I'm not in Buzzax Rampage. So it's helpful. I would say it's not it's not gonna hurt your build, but I don't know. 
Uh, I've been playing for a long time, and this is how this build works, so I think this is an alright way to spend your points. But if you think I'm wrong, then feel free to put it in the comments below, and I'll read what you have to say. I'm not out to hurt anybody. Uh, this is just my build and what I feel works best. And again, you know, th this build works really well for trying to solo bosses. Um, I don't have the skills to go all the way to OP10 soloing bosses, but I've soloed a lot of bosses, so it's not really a big deal. Um, and uh, finally, the ult and the fire tree. That's going to be the last one. So then for the last tree, I have these points in these so that I can progress the tree downward. You can put five on left, five on right. You're going to need five points, so might as well. But really, this isn't a big deal at all. Like, you don't... I wouldn't say these perks are helpful at all. So my class mod boosting them really isn't a big deal. If my class mod was boosting these two perks down here instead, I would have a god tier class mod on my hands. But it's boosting these, which is completely useless. So, But I don't have any better class mods to equip because I also do like boosting these because I get extra melee damage and max health off of them. So um, I like this one because gives me 50% uh, damage reduction, and uh, I get 30 plus blood bloodless stacks per kill, all the way up to 99, I think. This is helpful because, again, it adds uh, 2.5 melee damage per stack, and I have up to 99 of them, so I'm just going to always be doing crazy melee. And last but not least, I put the dynamite on my axe. You don't need it there. But I like having it there, and that's why I have a couple points in the Explosion one, because it feels like the Explosion Axe does a little bit more, not by much, but a little bit more damage than the regular unmodified non-explosive axe. But you, you can take it or leave it. I don't really care what you do with that point. It's two extra points. If you skip Hellfire Halitosis and you skip uh, the Bombardier, you can put it somewhere, but I haven't found a better use of those points. But uh, this is the updated build, the build that actually works, the build that's fire. I was getting close to this build um, on my last video, but I wasn't quite there yet. I didn't have the skill points that I do now. I didn't go through and battle test it for months before figuring out that that build didn't work as well as this one does. So if anyone wants to add anything or thinks that this build still isn't perfect then feel free to leave it in the comments, but this really, really works a lot better and is way better than my old video. So, um, but yeah, if I could find a class mod that gives me all of these except for those two up there and instead boosts this one, this one, this one, this one, and these two right here, if I could get all of those boosted, on a class mod, I would th you would have a god tier class mod. If you have um, if you have a class mod that boosts empty the rage, feed the meat, salt the wound, silence the voices, burn baby burn, and fuel the fire, then you've got a god tier class mod, or you've got one that I would want to use. Um, but as far as DPS is concerned, I'm on OP10, and this is a lot easier build to to run. It's it's so much easier. Uh, a lot more fun. Uh, I DPS like crazy, but um, that really gets shut down on the new OP because they're they're kind of ridiculous on the new OP. The new OP is kind of crazy, so I mean I would battle test it for you uh, right now, but I have to do something, so that's going to be it for the updated build. I'm going to label this um, uh, follow-up to the previous one, so it's going to have the same title. So anybody who managed to watch that video, I'm going to do exactly what I did again uh, for this video. So hopefully this fixes a lot of people's problems with the last one.